Three-day World Trade Organization Ministerial Conference in Geneva has been extended by a day to allow participating nations to come to an agreement. The developed and developing nations have been at loggerheads over nearly every issue discussed. While the West has hardened positions on the issue of patent waiver on COVID-19 vaccines, drugs and equipment, developing countries uh, led by India are pressing for a balanced outcome on fisheries and agriculture issues. For more on the deadlock, let's go to Rahul Srivastava, National Affairs Editor, who is currently covering the event in Geneva. Rahul, take us through all the latest. The news from the Ministerial Conference 12th at the WTO in Geneva is not very good. 164 countries had gathered to perhaps create a solution and agreement on three very critical issues. Agriculture, fisheries and trips waiver on vaccines, drugs and equipment. From the day one, contradictory positions have been taken by advanced nations and developing nations and the less developed countries. The end result is a virtual lack of consensus of any one of them. Primarily what is being seen is that entrenched positions are such which are signaling that more and more people may eventually like to go back home with no outcomes instead of having a bad outcome. The Director General of WTO in an effort to push for some solution, something to take back home, has extended the WTO conference by one more day. But is that going to have an impact? Not really. Sources are telling us that on the issue of agriculture, countries like India are extremely clear. There is going to be no dilution as far as the demand for a permanent solution on the stock holdings is concerned or the subsidies to farmers is concerned. On the issue of fisheries, countries like India are now very clear that polluters pay first concept needs to be applied. The big nations have big trawlers, big companies fishing beyond their national waters. And they are demanding that there should be a removal of subsidy as far as small fishermen in countries like India are concerned. Nations have very small fishing communities. A country like India has almost 90 lakh fishermen who are dependent on government subsidies. Without them, their subsidence will be very difficult. On the issue of TRIPS waiver, yet again, virtually no consensus. As countries like India, South Africa and others are very clear that there needs to be an effort, a response by the WTO to the pandemic in a way that countries prepare for a future pandemic also, not just the current one. India has contested that vaccines in lakhs are getting waste because of expiry dates, but big companies are not ready to part with the technology to create vaccines and improve access to vaccines, uh, despite the fact that in poor countries like in Africa, especially a large number of people are yet to be vaccinated, while the developed countries have already seen three doses being administered. Now, if all these issues don't get worked out, there is also a serious question mark over the WTO's capability to handle global trade and issues related to it. Will WTO eventually come up with a solution? The next 24 hours will tell. In Geneva, Rahul Srivastava for India Today. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.